everyone, thanks to the black hand, I found a video where a supposed furry believes we should listen to the trolls and that the trolls are right about us. Which would mean that we are all a bunch of yif crazed zoophiles spreading our fetishes all over the internet. Now I don't know about you, but I am insulted by this furry's video. I've been dealing with trolls probably longer than this dude's probably been on the internet. You cannot trust a troll and not be harmed by doing so. So basically he is saying that after all the videos I've made regarding trolls that I should put them aside and say, you know what trolls, you're right, I am fucked up, not gonna happen. What he doesn't realize by his own logic that he's a zoophile too, that all he thinks about is yeah. I know this furry doesn't think of himself that way, but if he's going to believe that the trolls are right, then he's gotta take that into consideration. This furry's name is Voltage Controlled. Now what I've said in the past, we have the right to enjoy yiff if we want to. We are adults, most of us are, there are some teenagers in the fandom and if they don't want to do the yiff thing, they don't have to. It's an option. It's not even part of the fandom, really. It's just part of human nature. Fetishes in the fandom are two separate entities. Remember that? And I don't know if this guy is going to believe it or not, but I've witnessed countless trolls making a mountain out of a molehill about a very small thing. They'll take one furry out of a crowd of 100,000 furries and make that furry look like they're representing the entire fandom. All their fetishes and everything. They've done it many times. You're asking me to trust somebody who's doxed me and put my real life information all over the internet and prank called me and stalked me everywhere I've gone? It's happened. Dude, trolls did this shit. And now you're asking me to trust them. The only thing I can think at this moment is that you're either an idiot or you're very misinformed or that you're probably up to something. Now I don't mean to insult you, but from your video, I don't think you know very much about what the furry fandom is and that you're just going based on what trolls have told you. I want you to go log into Second Life one day and just go to a furry sim and walk around and hang out with some furries. Then, take into consideration what the trolls have said, compare the two, and you'll find out that the trolls are wrong. Just hang out in Second Life or at some kind of furry website somewhere, if you can't get into Second Life, and talk to them. You'll learn that furries are not all about yiff, and that it's not really a big deal until a troll makes it a big deal. I've talked to you about this in PMs before, but I guess you didn't learn anything. I also want you to go to wikipedia.com and look up trolls. Look up all their fallacies and tactics. It will help you to better understand what trolls do. They're not here to help us. They're here to insult us because they find it humorous. Their goal is to cause a lot of drama. That's why they have Encyclopedia Dramatica. That's what the goal of that site is, the document drama that they've created. And I am a bit suspicious about you after making that video, but I'm not here to judge. However, by looking at your channel description and the comments on this video of yours and the comments on your own channel, you seem to have befriended a ton of known trolls. Now, you haven't trolled anybody yourself, so I'm not going to go too far into that. But it seems like you really like trolls. I guess that's fine. You can go ahead and like them all you want, but you're just going to get screwed over later on. Trust me on this. I've tried it before. And after reading through the comments on your video, they've even tried to warn you about me because you kept with their mindset, and you know that when Wolfie Darkfang comes along, all hell's going to break loose. But then again, the only one who even talked about me was Flames of Immor Immortality, which is Empirocrit, which I've had a video video on him in the past. Go back a few pages on my videos to WDP number 9. Also look up Frost White Fox. Uh, he has a channel here on YouTube. He has a video called Karma Trolls vs. Furries. Uh, he's even listed in that video. He knows that I'm not going to agree with what he has to say because he knows he's wrong. So he tried to beat me to the punch by saying not to listen to me. Now I noticed that on your channel you said that you don't like sheeple. A sheeple is basically a person who allows themselves to be led like a sheep who will believe anything they are told by a specific person. If you don't like sheeple, then don't just listen to the trolls. Listen to just about everyone. Because if you don't like sheeple just as much as I don't like sheeple, then don't just listen to one side of the story. I mean, I've listened to both, trolls and furries, and, well, I've picked my side. I've dealt with trolls on YouTube since I've been here. I know how to handle them. I've had a lot of experience with trolls. And by your video, you're telling me to trust these people, which would kind of be like going back in time to an earlier date and reliving it. I've done it before. Why do you think I make all these videos? Personal experience. I've been doxxed, prank called, harassed, stalked, ridiculed, told that I was a failure at life, spammed, because most of them don't really care. You know, they're just wanting to laugh at it. I'm going to use what you've said and turn the tables here. You need to take into consideration what you've said and learn more about trolls before you make any more videos regarding them. Because from my observation, you've only listened to one side of the story. You know, in most cases, I can see right through a person's video and detect what they're 
they're really trying to say. I'm not easily fooled. Now, zoophilia in general is not strictly furry. In fact, a lot of zoophiles in the world probably don't even know what a furry is. If you go on Old McDonald's farm and talk to him and he's cuddling his sheep and ask him if he knows what a furry is, he's probably going to be like, there, that's a furry. They're not going to know what a furry is. Chances are they don't even have a computer. Anything sexual that you see in the furry fandom is not strictly furry. You see it in just about every human that you come across. The only real way to keep it out of the fandom is to approach the people who are spreading it around and try and talk to them, reason with them. And if you can't do that, then contact whoever's in charge and have them take the material down. Now, if you're going out looking for the if, then that's a completely different story there because you're actually looking for it. You're going to find it. But if you stumble upon it by accident, report it. I do it all the time. Now, when I read through the comments on your videos, one of the trolls was trying to say that you need to create your own fandom that's free of yiff and all that stuff. Well, you can go ahead and do that if you want to, but if you go putting down a bunch of rules like no yiff, no whatever, and your fan base is just like another one who does allow you to get away with anything, you can rest assured that most people will go to the one that's more freedom, because people come onto the internet to get away from rules and real life regulation. We come here to have fun. If we wanted to be bounded down by a rule set, we would do all this stuff in real life. Unless you're going to be strict and enforce everything and be everywhere at once, like Big Brother, people are not going to uphold your rule set. Now, YIF itself is not a real problem. It's only a problem if someone tries to spread it around all over the place everywhere they go, in places that's not wanted. But then, it's really not the furry fandom's fault. It's that one person's fault for doing it. But this is the act that misconceives the public about the furry fandom. Now, having said all this, I'm not sure if you're actually wanting our opinions or not, or if I should just let you run loose and believe whatever you want to believe, but you're going to get pwned by a troll if you're actually going to allow yourself to be misled by them, or they're just going to use you as a tool. But I'm telling you from personal experience that you cannot trust a troll and actually not be pwned by them later on. I've been friends with a few trolls. I've been pwned by them. It wasn't cool. Now, as you probably realized, I'm not considering you a sock puppet just yet because you have not trolled anybody. So what Empiricrit has said about me, he's misleading you. This Dark Wolf number 7 that he's talked about, I know for a fact they were a sock puppet. In fact, as soon as I got done with my rant about that person, their account fell into inactivity because they knew they were pwned. Now I can bet within a day that account's probably going to have some activity now that I've mentioned it. You can go ahead and like trolls all you want, but you're just going to end up falling down that hole. I've seen it happen before. Now the things you have on your like list, on your profile, I have a lot of those things on my like list too. I like Star Fox, AVGN, and of course furries. You even have a couple of my friends listed there, Chung Chow Soy and Viet Fox. But then again, underneath that you have a couple of trolls listed. People I don't necessarily like because they've pissed me off before. And you say you don't like Juggalos, you're probably only going based on what Ultra Forge has told you about them. I don't know much about them either, but I'm not going to trust a troll. I'm actually going to go ahead and do my own research and find out what they really are. Well, I think I've said basically everything I need to say in regards to this video, so I'm going to wrap it up now.